Yes, as ever, ladies and gentlemen, GB Views at GBNews.uk. Keep those emails coming in thick and fast. Now, I think we all woke up with a deep sense of relief this morning. The biggest crisis to hit the Met Police has finally been rectified. No, it's not the knife crime epidemic. No, it's not the lack of response to domestic violence. Could it be that they've decided to clamp down on grooming gangs? No, no, none of that. Gender-neutral uniforms are on their way, apparently, ladies and gentlemen, if you can even say that anymore, actually. 30,000 police officers were consulted, and apparently they just feel like they have to say yes, potentially, to this kind of stuff. I can't help but wonder whether or not people do just feel like they have to say yes when they're asked these things. I went out and did a couple of Vox Pops earlier on to ask whether or not people would house an Afghan refugee, and absolutely pretty much everyone was like, yes, we certainly would. I remain to be convinced to see whether or not that actually happens. Sometimes you're put on the spot and you feel like you have to say something. Thing. But apparently, the force could be in breach of the 2010 Equality Act if it doesn't actually introduce these uniforms. So presumably, this would mean that police chiefs will be arrested for a hate crime instead of Barry on Twitter, who has some strong views about whether or not snowmen should now be called snow people. Apparently, gender-orientated uniforms are a legacy for a sexist past. I can see the side of it where we don't need female police officers looking all dainty and, and that kind of stuff because they are ultimately there to enforce the law, unless they want to, of course. But it's not like we're dressing up female police officers in miniskirts and crop tops, is it? Their uniform seems basically the same, as far as I can tell, to a large extent anyway. Police recorded 45,267 crimes in 2019, concentrated in big cities for the most part. 49% higher, that was, than in 2011. We've got police call centres taking ages to answer the phone because they're all off with the pandemic. I reported last week on the fact that women are being beaten up and in some cases killed because police aren't enforcing restraining orders against known violent offenders. There is an absolute scandal taking place in the country that seems to be almost, almost willingly covered up in certain quarters by vast swathes of the media as well, perhaps. And that is the scandal of grooming gangs. Cambridge, Newcastle, Rotherham, Rochdale, Telford, Amersham. I could go on. Tens of thousands of girls are being systematically abused on an industrial scale. But please tell me more about your new gender-neutral uniforms. While you're painting rainbow flags and cars and doing everything you can to tell people how woke you are, young girls are going through some of the most systematic and industrial-scale abuse you can imagine. Young lads are being stabbed to death. Gang crime is spiralling. Drugs are being sold. Illegal immigrants are flooding into the country at record levels. How many, of police, how many hours of police time is this new uniform fiasco taking up? How much is it going to cost? I don't think people want a woke police force. I think they want a proper police force. They want the police force to fight crime, not a relatively non-existent, largely unconscious gender issue in the workplace. I'm sure the families of murdered teenagers and grooming gang victims woke up this morning feeling reassured that our police officers and our Met Ch P Police Chief Cressida Dick won't be mortally offended by their own uniforms anymore.